females with autism. So, which I think uh, Brittany Venti definitely has. Brittany, just before I get started here, uh, I have a lot of people who have come to me and have dished out a lot of dirt on you. I could make it public, but I'm not going to. And could I dox her with some real, I've got, I've got the photos to, to, to really rough her up, but I'm not going to do that either. So I believe this is a friend of yours. By the way, you're right about Brittany's uh, Christian trad grift, because I know for a fact that Brittany has full on nude pics. You gotta love how he feigns taking the high road as he airs someone's dirty laundry. Rollo Tomasi, or as we like to call him here, George the Gossipy Grandma, is the grandmother of the Red Pill Manosphere. You call yourself the godfather of the Red Pill. You call myself the godfather of the Manosphere, okay? Okay. Other people have called me that. Okay, great. That's that is, very, do you okay. understand? Okay. I am not red pill adjacent. I am in the red pill. I am the father of the red pill. Right? In his recent stream, he read the email of somebody who told him about my personal life as well as my personal dating life. I've got photos. I think I've actually, I put, I put one up on Twitter not too long ago. I know about Mason. I know about the nudes. I know about a lot of stuff. Trust me, you have a lot of enemies. You probably don't want to fuck with me. Because I know people and I know things. <laughs> because George didn't like the video I made on him, he decided to read this email on his stream in response to that because I spoke out against him and the Manosphere using woke feminist tactics such as censorship. And the email was framed obviously in a way to demonize me and make me look like I was a bad girlfriend. She drove him insane and made it look like he was the bad one. Meanwhile, she would provoke him and say things like he was too weak or how he wasn't fit enough. Uh, she would even fight him in groups, group hangouts in front of everyone and humiliate him. George also talked about having my nudes on stream and even threatening to send it to my enemies and laughing about it. Rational Mail, send those nudes to Undead Chronic. Should I? <laughs> <laughs> I got to give you at least some kind of a sizzle with the stake here. As per usual, George cannot make an argument to save his life, which is why he chose to hit me below the belt. I have my own spies that tell me stuff too. And I know quite a bit about Brittany as well. Do you not think that I've dealt with like way better haters and trolls than you? No, I don't think you have. That email was actually sent by me. <laughs> How are those stakes sizzling? I'm not going to put my 20 plus year, but 20, almost 22 years credibility on the line just for some dumb little bitch like this. Well, you just did. I'll be accepting my award for YouTube's best actress now. I've seen so much poor fact checking from the Manosphere that I decided to do a little trolling. Here you can see that this email that he wrote off on his stream with the timestamps, and you can see that it is me logged into the account. This is in fact my email that I am logged into, and here's the email that I sent. And here is him replying. So I'm going to refresh the page. And you can see that it is real. That's his email. And uh, sent from his iPad. <laughs> Because George himself lists Tom Likas as his inspiration for his ideology on women and dating. All right. So next thing is, it's not an ideology, you dumb bitch. Well, this autistic dumb bitch fooled you. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yeah, I am. I'm just, a, that's all I am. Just a, I'm just oblivious. I'm just, I don't know. I don't know. In the email, I even put one of the oldest popular memes on the internet, and he actually fell for it. I got the impression that the reason she stayed with him, despite stare, uh, starting all these fights with him, was because his mom was the CFO of a really big company, and she wanted his inheritance. Really? He showed me a text from his mother with a picture of a bank statement showing that Britney spent over $9,000 on his credit card. It's over 9000 
thousand? What nine thousand? I was really surprised that when he read this on stream that not a single person pointed it out to him. It is absolutely hilarious to watch him do victory laughs and act smug when it's really just him rolling around in his own shit. And for everyone else to watch for their own entertainment. It is truly a sight to behold. <laughs> yeah, gotcha. Gotcha. I don't have that loaded. Gotcha, bitch. How do you feel? How do you like it? Hey, you like apples? How do you like them apples? You want it? Do you want it to you want it? You got it, man. Say my name. Yeah. Bimbo Ops one, George Zero. I'll bet that George is sweating right about now. And when he goes to wash off that sweat, I hope he does with Reed Street Soap. You can support the bimbo ops you've seen today by going to reedsoap.shop. They are a small business that makes beautiful, healthier soaps for everyone. They have a huge variety of scents that I personally really enjoy, and I've even helped design and pick the scents for the bimbo bars that are available on the site. They turned out really cute and sparkly, and one smells like strawberries, and the other one smells like sweet flowers. The more masculine soaps smell just as great and are just as amazing to look at. Ah, <sighs> the smell of victory. Now back to the video. Let's back it up a bit so everybody's on the same page. Two months ago, Lauren Southern released this video here talking about her divorce. She talked about how she left her unhealthy relationship and how she is now a single parent and what that has taught her. So George took it upon himself to dedicate a live stream to talk about how Lauren actually got impregnated by the live streamer Destiny. So there was a child involved in Destiny, according to the yeah, axe here anyways. Lauren uses people to get what she wants. Destiny was her ticket to getting back in the YouTuber game. Uh, they started sleeping with each other as he is in some kind of relationship like that. Lauren then got pregnant and it was a girl. They just started formalizing the relationship as I guess there is a kid involved. However, have since been told she is seeing Tim Pool. He has given her a job or something else like that. He provided no actual evidence, so it was pretty apparent that he was willing to believe almost anything. And that's where the email comes in. So, in the process of making my video, I emailed him a fabricated story where I took internet gossip and twisted all the details to suit Rolo's confirmation bias on women being evil, manipulative liars. Because we know how much he loves to be told he's right. You gotta stroke that ego. By the way, you're right about Britney's Christian trad grift. She's not a Christian! <laughs> because I know for a fact that Britney has full-on nudes. I wrote in details like me being a gold digger, emasculating the man, and saying that I am manipulative. How she would provoke him and say things like he was too weak or how he wasn't fit enough. Because I knew what he wanted to believe about me, and I knew that his confirmation bias was so strong that it would overtake his better judgment if he even has any, that is. Maybe he's right and women are manipulative after all. <laughs> I sent the email before I dropped my video and he didn't respond until after I released my video. And out of this entire email of all the things he could have asked me about, he could have asked questions to fact check or ask for a phone call. But no, instead his top priority was my nudes. I wonder if his wife knows that the father of her child is asking for women's revenge corn on the internet. How creepy. And he even acknowledges that it's revenge corn on his own live stream. I gotta be careful, man, because then that, that becomes like revenge porn, and I, I don't want to get involved in that either. But that didn't stop George from pestering me in email after his stream to try to get my nudes. This 50-something-year-old man was really pressed about getting my revenge corn. I find it absolutely hilarious how he is acting out how gross having my nudes are for his stream, doing this whole performative thing, considering that I made the entire thing up. I know for a fact that Britney has full on nudes. So do I now, uh, unfortunately. His source for my nudes were, trust me, bro. Yes, there are actually nudes of her out there too. Trust me, 
The only photos that were attached to that email were random pictures from group hangouts back in the day. Shout out to my friend Two Salads, who is a streamer. He helped make this happen by giving me the photos from way back then. Anyway, George is so desperate to confirm his bias that he even fell for my satirical bit back in the day. He actually fell for my dumb gamer girl bit from like eight years ago in the current year. She's gonna say that there are, there are no nudes. Uh, then why did she do a, uh, a video when she was, uh, what was it 2015, I think. So I'm, I don't know, I'm, I'm completely, I'm a, I'm a noob to all this. I'm a boomer. I don't know anything. Me trolling and acting like a dumb gamer girl is kind of what made me known on the internet in the first place. I don't expect him to know every single thing about me, but this is what I call very bare minimum research. I have been trolling on the internet about having nudes since I could remember because people like George accused me of having it, so I thought it would be really funny for the satirical bit to pretend that I have them, which I clarified in a video which he would have found if he did bare minimum research. Only someone with an agenda trying to confirm their biases would actually believe this after watching it for a little bit. Keep your anti-feminism to yourself. To your- ow! <laughs> oh, look how red it is. Look, it's turning red right here. How is it fake? You see it fucking turning red! But no, George has to confirm his biases. I mean, don't you see I'm wearing hoop earrings? I must be a slut. So when I say, you know, the bigger the hoop, the bigger the hope. Now you might be wondering, Brittany, what if this is just a one-off that he fell for the troll and did some bad reporting and maliciously lied about having your nudes? And worst of all, trying to act like they would be gross. Didn't he say that he had proof about Lauren Southern undeniably being the world's biggest slut and getting pregnant with Destiny's child? All that shit about Lauren Southern? Yeah, I'll talk about that too if you'd like. But I do have... I have technically their medical records. I do have medical records uh, uh, that she was, in fact, pregnant about this time last year, August 8th of 2022. I have them. I have them right in my possession. You think you have spies? I got spies too. All two of them? George's informant on Lauren Southern's pregnancy with Destiny's child was actually Lauren Southern. She emailed him fake documents on her being pregnant with Destiny's baby and he actually believed it. Well, I can bet you $10,000 that she was pregnant. I guess George owes Lauren Southern $10,000. Hi, George. I, 30M, work in healthcare admin in Vancouver and have been following you for almost a year now. Your content has made a huge difference in my life personally. I'm divorced and have to pay child support even though they took my kid from me. I'm laughing because she made it so stereotypical. I'm on my way to becoming a high value male thanks to you and others. I started following you last year after you started exposing the truth about Lauren Southern. She came into the clinic I work at to get an ultrasound. I checked her in myself. I thought she might eventually break the news online, but she never did. I do have proof that she was pregnant. You were right. You were right the whole time. I love how she threw in that little ego stroke in there. Like she independently did that. She sent her email before I sent mine and she came to the same conclusion that he needed his ego stroked for him to believe the email. After her spewing more lies in her recent video, I'm finally reaching out to you. As you can imagine, this is personal for me. What she did to her husband is what happened to me. Fuck her and all these fake fuck E thoughts everyone keeps making excuses for. This is war. <laughs> I can send you a pic of the ultrasound intake form from last year that shows her as pregnant. I already took the pic, but you have to promise you won't say it came from a healthcare worker. I'm not a high level employee, but I still want this job for the time being. Please respond so I know that you're getting this and let's bury this bitch. <laughs> this sounds like if somebody was making fun of an incel, like what you think they would say. She literally made this sound like satire and he actually believed it. So knowing this, you can imagine how funny it was watching him go on No Jumper, talking about how he has the proof about Lauren Southern being pregnant with Destiny's child. I think you wrote to Destiny. You have medical records and proof mm -hmm. 
that can show, I think it was Laura Southern you were talking mm -hmm. about? According to the guy that I have been talking to, her ex, uh, there was a sexual relationship there and mm -hmm. it resulted in a child. Well, I had another guy come up to me and I have copies of her um, ultrasound, ultrasound tests mm -hmm. from right around the month that they were talking about, mm -hmm. uh, August of last year. And it is definitely her. I have the information confirmed for that. So I know that there was a child that was produced or she was getting an OBGYN, you know, yeah. ultrasound at that time. What a fool. I bet he made the people that actually believed him feel real dumb. On No Jumper, George says that he doesn't know for a fact that Destiny's the dad, but he had no problem confidently saying this on Twitter. Now, do I know that it was Destiny's? I don't know that, but I do know that there was a child involved or there was a child. This is George's fault for not doing the bare minimum research. He could have had a phone call with this hypothetical person, but he didn't. He could have done basic research to check the forms and the numbers on them to see if it even correlated with the country. But no, instead he decided to just gossip on any podcast that he could find. And if you feel bad for poor Grandma Red Pill here for getting bamboozled by the people he seek to destroy, he he did threaten to sue for defamation as well as deplatforming via copy striking slash filing a privacy complaint all over the fact that he didn't like the video and for me quote unquote doxing his daughter. If you're going to go and dig shit up and you're going to dox my daughter, if you're going to do that, at least try to do something recent. So when I do a copyright strike on you or I do a, a privacy strike on you, or I do, uh, let's see, a defamation lawsuit on you, at least get, like, make me look a little bit better. I don't know what was defamatory about showing his daughter's public Instagram account under her promotional pageant account. He also claims I doxed his wife, even though I censored her face in the photo. She did, of course, dox my kid and my wife. I don't know why he's getting mad at me. His daughter is the one that posted it. Oh, she, she, his daughter is really a public figure. No, 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 she's not, actually. And oh, well, she did pageants. Yeah, that doesn't mean shit. There are plenty of other there are plenty of other girls and women who've done pageants over the years who are in no way public figures. She's not a winner of like Miss Nevada or anything like that. So she is effectively not a public figure. And yes, you could be held liable for defamation and uh uh, slander i could i could throw that out there if anyone's going to be held liable for slander it's george he spread plenty of misinformation about lauren southern and i and did so without any real evidence he's gonna take me down because i dared to show the photo that his own daughter posted on her promotional pageant account apparently this gives him justification to not only affect my income try to deplatform me but also spread my revenge corn by the way i didn't know that that was allowed on youtube in the first place considering that it's illegal george doesn't have a great understanding in how the law works in general she essentially had this thumbnail and it was like right reading like it wasn't like it was like mirror image now now it's mirror imaged because she knows that i i can give her i can get her on a copyright strike if i wanted to but now she's got to change it 50 so he really thinks that the only reason that he can't copy strike my thumbnail is because I allegedly flipped the image to avoid being copy struck. The reason I flipped it was because the timestamp was covering my face. Even if I didn't flip it, it would still be protected by fair use. Is he not aware that YouTubers use people in their thumbnails all the time? Like, where is he getting this information from? His spies? All two of them? So I guess that explains why he's so confused about me using jump cuts. You notice that there's all these jump cuts in this, uh, as I would expect. He actually expects me to sit here and use his raw footage in my videos and bore my audience to death and set myself up to get copy struck by him. He is out of his mind. I kept all of his clips in context. He is just complaining that his own words made him look bad. The other funny highlights of his stream is him doing the things I initially criticized him for, such as name dropping to make himself seem more popular. It's funny. I'm, I'm looking at like my YouTube stuff here now and people like suddenly people are finding that, that I actually did something with uh, Dr. Phil not too long ago. People know who I am. Anytime somebody wants to use my name about something, it's like, okay, fine. At least know what the fuck you're talking about. You can go and read. Had you read my first book, you would know that I list Tom Likas as an inspiration on that. I felt it's in the introduction of the very first fucking book. 
You would know that if you read my book, all five of them. And he claims to be good at researching, which is pretty ironic considering that he got trolled so many times. A lot of the stuff that I'm going to get into today is going to be like really nuts and bolts. I got statistics. I got research. I got all kinds of stuff to back this shit up and always have, by the way. The Manosphere has once again proven my point that they are exactly like the woke feminists that they hate. They use the same censorship tactics and sensationalism. Like the video if you enjoyed the bimbo ops and subscribe with the notification bell on. If you'd like to see more videos in the future, consider donating on my Patreon. Or you can buy some soap to wash your ass. Thanks for watching the video. I'll see you guys later. Bye bye. I know I'm probably just a guy on the internet to you, but I've attached some photos. Oh boy, has he ever attached some photos.